Hello, everybody. I think I'm not looking in the right spot, but hey, it's okay. Well, I had to go to the post office and mail some stuff yesterday. And it just so happens that passing down the street, kind of sort of on the way to the post office, was a resale shop that I would never knew about. And sitting out in front was a huge Marge Simpson holding little Maggie. I mean, this was really cool. Good, good way to advertise because I walked in and you're going up and down steps. Excuse me, my nose is thing. Allergy season. And I mean, she had all these like little tiny rooms, nooks and crannies. It was very strange. But I did find a few good good things. So I didn't spend a lot. I'm trying not to spend a lot because I'm saving myself for when I go to Aurora. But I did find some cute things. Um, I'm going to start out with this. I got these Salem Witches Museum, 1692 Salem, Massachusetts playing cards. I have been there. Last week I found a... Um, uh, what do you call it? A thimble from the same place. So anyway, I got these cards. And then she had these, which I thought were pretty cool. And I know somebody that's going to really love them. And that's Misty. And they're Mackinac um, Bridge playing cards. Never even been opened yet. So I found those. Uh... I found these two containers. She had a few. These two were the only ones that really kind of interested me. One was, which I didn't even know they made, Spices, Weiler's Onion Flakes. I haven't done any research on them yet, so I have no idea when they could be from. It has the top. It still has some in it, actually. It has a recipe for cream of onion soup on it, which sounds kind of, I don't know. There's no zip code or nothing like that, so I'm sure they're quite old. But I thought those were cool in a really nice condition, um, considering that they look quite old. And then I found this Nestle's Hot Cocoa mix, and it is a bank. It says, uh, free bank. Um, when you buy... When you buy the mix inside. And it says put four heaping teaspoons into a cup. Add six ounces of hot water. Stir and enjoy. Now this one does have a zip code on it, oddly enough. But it's, I know it's still pretty old, so... I like that one too. Okay. What else did I get? I got this Christmas bell, which I love the Santa on it. I thought he was cute. It's got some paint missing, but not a lot. And uh, it was made in Taiwan, but I still liked it. I thought it was neat. You can't pass up a good old Santa. You just can't. And I got... I did not buy a lot in there because, like I said, I was... Uh, I'm trying to... But I did find this really pretty. She's filthy, but this little Japanese lady. Uh, I think she's going to look really pretty when I get done cleaning her. And... She's made in Japan. I didn't see any anything missing from her. I just see a lot of lots and lots of dirt. This lady said she's been open since November. Um, I didn't. I found her stuff to be rather grimy, but. And then I found right next to that was this little 
just one single salt shaker uh, made in Japan. And it does have like a little tiny flea bite up here. But I thought that was an awesome shape for a salt and pepper shaker. I thought it was pretty cool. And then the last thing I bought there was this beautiful luster finish vase. Um, I checked it over. I don't see any flower petals or anything missing at all. And it was made in Germany, which kind of surprised me. But it's a really dark luster finish. You know, it's not that really bright orangish color. It's like a almost a copper color. So I thought that was very pretty. And it is stamped on the bottom that it's made in Germany. So that's all I got there. And then right past the uh I'll say the library. Right past the uh post office is the Goodwill. So I had to go in there too. And I got this. The blue was the uh, color of the day, and it was 75% off. Look at this. 75% off, and uh, I I didn't, I never check because I figured I'm not going to worry. But I did manage to find one blue label. Um, I got this. I think it's really pretty. It's made in England, but I just love the colors and the birds on it. It's just really pretty. And somebody wrote their name on the back. They must have taken it to a party or a church function or something. Um, it says it's 1971. Uh, Dar, Dehar, I don't know. Decorated wear made in England. And it's in a really nice shape. It's not all dinged and scratched. So I like that. And then I, excuse me, found some restaurant wear. Uh, I've never heard of any of these, though. I got this cute little bowl. And it is Mayor, <coughs> Mayor <coughs> Ch Bandage, Mayor China, USA. I know everything's backwards. <coughs> My other phone didn't do this. I don't know why everything's backwards on this one. And this was like a dollar forty-nine. So I gotta look up all these things because I never heard of them. And then I think these are bone dishes. I got two of them. They look like uh, boomerangs. And these say P2 Medallion Sterling China USA. Williams. No, Somethingville, Ohio. And uh, so I got two of these. And they're in really nice shape also. And then I got this little tiny pitcher. Creamer. And it looks to be quite old. I don't know if it is. But it says on the bottom that is Harcourt Calden Vitreous Ware. Vitrified wear. And it, it was made in England, but it was distributed in uh, Chicago. Albert Pick Company, Chicago. So, I got this. I think this is very pretty and sweet. I found a bell, and I just, I, I love violets, so I just thought it was very pretty. Made very nicely. And it was made in, it says St. George. It's stamped. St. George. Uh, made in England. Bone China made in England. So I thought that was pretty. Bandit. Um, I got this. It doesn't say where it was made I'm almost sure it's Japan one of the egg things inside it has one like 
deep scratch on it. Now, how you could scratch glass like that, I don't know. But I didn't even notice it until I got it home. But it has all these little delicate flowers in it. And I'm not sure if they're made of, um, uh, like, femo clay or something. I'm not sure. But they are beautiful. Whatever they're made of. So I got that. I got this very pretty uh, swan. Just She's just plain but pretty in nice shape. Uh, and it was, shockingly enough, made by Hamco. I was very surprised. I didn't know Hamco made stuff like that. So I got that. Um, I got this picture frame to give to my uh, niece with her little boy's first birthday picture in it. I haven't gotten anything for him yet. I was going to give her this and a gift for him. And uh, I thought that was real cute. Looks like pewter. Um, I got a couple of pictures. This one sold originally for $12.99. Very nice frame. I like this a lot. And this one, I like the picture. It's a watercolor print. But mostly, I didn't know necessarily if it went in the frame, but I love this frame. It is so pretty. So, and I believe it's all, it's wood. And this is like a champagne color. So I got that. I bought this flamingo vinyl uh, shower curtain. And lastly... Oh, no, I got one more thing after this. Um, I bought these cards. I was quizzing Ron earlier. Uh, so I could put them in as package toppers. I love when I get the um, trivia ones. And I, I thought, um, I think it'll be fun to put them in. Oh, I got a couple more things. Okay. This was what I got for whatever 75% on. Let's see. So I paid like a quarter for it. It says... 100 years start on tomorrow. Um, Kodak. 1880 to 1980. And it's a coaster. I thought that was a really cool coaster. It was just like sitting on the edge and I picked it up. And I just like I saw the picture and I thought, oh, I like that. And then I got this adorable. I do not know who makes it. All I see are some numbers stamped on the bottom. I can't. There must have been a label on it, but I, it's been taken off. But it is this little basket with these sweet as all can be little uh, beagles. And I just love the coloring of it and everything. I just think it's so pretty. And so that, I believe, is all I got. So I'm ready to go to Illinois. So I hope you guys are having a good day. It's supposed to be 98 degrees tomorrow. Which I can't wait. I think I won't be going outside much. But uh, I might go early in the morning. I've got to get this wig cut. This wig of mine is just driving me crazy. And it is so long. And has no style. I'm trying to tire, tired, bleh, tired of trying to make it into something that it's not. So I'm going to try and get it cut tomorrow. I'll probably be a whole lot cooler with this off my neck. Yes. Feels good. So, you guys have a great day. Actually, have a great evening. And if it's 98 where you're at tomorrow, stay cool. If it's over 98, I feel sorry for you. Because I feel bad that it's going to be 98. But remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, and some of you guys, I will be seeing you on Saturday. Love you guys. Bye.